It's time once again for the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. Before we continue with uh, the Autumn of Pinky in our game of Shogun here, it, it was brought to my attention today that um, I haven't really explained anything of what's going on in this game, so I thought I would take care of that before I proceed with play, so that those of you who are following the tournament but aren't uh, familiar with this game kind of have an idea of what's going on and are able to better follow on follow along and appreciate how poorly <laughs> I'm having these players play. I, I started not uh, not remembering the rules so much, and I, I do a lot of rules reading and figuring out rules to do reviews and things like that. And so sometimes uh, the real people multi-game solitaire mega tournament is sort of a, an opportunity for me to not have to worry so much about that. I try to play the games right, but I don't fret as much as when I'm reviewing a game. Anyway, I do know the rules uh, now took kind of a turn to kind of get them back in place. So I'll explain them to you. Um, basically how a turn works is the players are going to place the provinces that they control on these different actions here. Okay, so you have different provinces and these are all ones that Pinky has. And then also you see they, that she has these, these cards with chests on them. These little chests, that's what those are. Um, all the players have the, those cards. There's zero through four. Um, these are the auction cards. And what they're used for is they, uh, they're your bid for the turn order. Okay? Turn order um, does two different things. It decides when you do things, the, the different actions. And it also um, gives you a special ability. So there's these different special ability cards. They're dealt out on the turn order and then, you know, uh, dealt out randomly. Then, um, when it, whenever your bid comes up, if you bid the most, you get to pick first. Um, you get to pick where you are in the turn order, and then you get the special ability that's in that place. So, Pinky likes treasure. She might actually choose um, treasure, even if it's the fifth in the turn order, because that gives her more money. Um, so then you also have these actions here. These actions are going to be dealt out. Be in the turn one, two, three, four, five. The first five are open, and the next five are hidden, and you'll be able to see that when you choose which provinces go go where. Okay, so these different actions. So this one lets you recruit for money, lets you get more cubes in the province that you put there. This one lets you recruit. Um, this one gives you rice, and then there's ones that let you attack. Um, and if you attack from a certain province, you have to attack from that province. How attacks work is you take the cubes from that province, um, put it in this cube tower, and then you match up the colors of what's what's out there. So say if Destructo, well, let's not use Destructo. Let's say if the Shogun um, had attacked uh, Destructo. Well, yeah, I guess Destructo is what I have. Oh, here's Junior here. Junior here. And this is what came out of the tower. These cubes would cancel out, and the Shogun would have two left. Uh, Betty Crocker, because he's black, um, would have two left, and those are the two that he would get to put in Betty Crocker or uh, Junior's um, Junior's province that he took. Um, thing about the cube tower is that you know you're going to put cubes in. Not all of them are going to come out, so some of those cubes stay in there and then come out later. Uh, it's it's quite a fun little uh, mechanism for deciding battles, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's not super realistic. This game isn't super realistic. I don't know who these factions are, um, anything like that. So you just kind of got to appreciate it. It's a gamey game, and that's okay. Uh, in this case, it works. Um, over here we have rice. This rice is important. This is the rice track. Um, at the uh, so the game is done in years, typically two years. I'm actually going to try to do three years this this time, just because I don't know what it uh, what it will do. Um, I'm not sure why it's limited to two years. Maybe because it's supposed to be a player friendly game, and a lot of players don't like to play games for very long. Nice thing about playing solitaire is you can play as long as you want and you're not going to bother anyone except maybe yourself, but I can handle it. Um, 
Anyway, so the rice, how it works is you have to have enough rice to feed your people. You need one rice per province uh, in the winter time. So you go through the different seasons, spring, summer, autumn. And then winter is the scoring round and you have to, to have enough rice or otherwise the farmers revolt. The farmers are these little green cubes. They tend to... Um, they tend to work on defense when they come out of the tower, unless you have these little revolt markers uh, right here. These revolt markers make it so that the farmers will work against you. Um, you play them whenever you tax or confiscate rice from a province. And I think it kind of went over a general overview of everything. Uh, you get points for provinces. Oh, the reason why you build these buildings is not just to invoke the special uh, abilities, which is what's happened so far. Um, these buildings, if you have the most of these in one of these colored areas of a given building, you get bonus points. So if you have the most temples in like an area which looks like Pinky has right now during the winter, she'll get a bonus two victory points above and beyond the one she gets for each province she has. If you have the most palaces, you get three. And if you have the most no theaters, you get one. So they're just, um, and they, you know, they cost different amounts. The no theaters are the cheapest. They give you the least amount of victory points if you have the most. You have to have the most, though. If you tie, um, you get, like, the amount it's worth minus one. I'm getting into numbers. I'm just trying to give an overview. That'll work. I think you understand the game. Let's play. It's the Autumn of Pinky. Let's take a look at her prospects. So Pinky is a flight attendant, and she's concerned with material things. She's, um... Not because she's a flight attendant, but she owns 350 pairs of shoes. I've read this aloud before, um, but it bears repeating. She doesn't like people who spit when they talk. Uh, if you, oh, motto, if you can't eat it, wear it, or spend it, you don't need it. So she's very into the material. Um, you know, things you eat, wear, or spend, those are things. Those are objects that you can touch. Uh, and that's just kind of, that's kind of how I've been been playing her most of the time. She likes to build things. She likes to collect things. She's not so into um, fighting, though she is vindictive. Uh, it hasn't come up very much yet, but if someone attacks her, which Destructo has, she's going to look for a little payback. And and you can look for that in this turn. We'll see if, she, if it plays out or not. She's definitely in a place to, to crush Destructo in at least one area. Um, so I think she'll probably try to do that. Even though she's fun, independent, and free, she doesn't like people stepping on her toes. Uh, Autumn of Pinky. All right, and this is an interesting lineup, uh, considering it's the Autumn of Pinky. Last lineup we had was the Summer of Destruction, Destructo Summer. Um, lots of fighty stuff right in the beginning. Pinky's thing is notable in that there isn't taxation in this first Plump. There's a lot of things that cause you to spend, however. Um, well, I guess most of the actions are things that cost money. Um, they're not super expensive. There's no taxation. Pinky can definitely afford all of these things if she wants them. Um, you know, the, the temple is still, still attractive. This event could potentially be the event. And everyone's hoping it is, actually, because if it isn't, it's going to be the winter event, which means four bowls of rice are taken off before they tally up for their people. So, we'll let people consider everything. There are special actions up there. The money action is in a good spot. Um, yeah. So whenever you get into this situation where the the chest isn't showing and people are low on money, they're really taking a risk in um, doing any of the spendy actions, which as you can see from the boards here, are a majority of them. Six of them cost money. And so if that if that chest doesn't come up here or here or here, you know, guys like Destructo and Junior, and even Pinky a little bit, are going to have to be cautious with what they choose to, to buy um, before the taxation comes. Alright, so Autumn is a big, big turn of the game because it's the last turn before the scoring round. Um, and if players haven't really been thinking ahead, which they haven't been, they're scrambling when it comes to Autumn. They have the rice to worry about. It's their last chance to build buildings before um, scoring. And you really they, it's time to really think about how expanded you are. If you're too expanded, you're going to have to deal with more rice. Um, and that's difficult. So, what's Pinky looking at? She's looking at, she wants to score the most possible. She's kind of been using a building strategy for the most part. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, three, yeah, the three different 
areas which she has a presence. So she's in the kind of um, death the corpse color, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of, I imagine corpse, corpse purple um, area to the south. She definitely has the temple locked up. There's really no way she can lose that unless someone took over one of her provinces. She has two temples. Um, the only other person competing with her in the corpse area is Betty Crocker, the Shogun here. Um, he can only build one a turn, so really unless she loses something, uh, then she's got that good. And I don't think she really, it would be difficult for anyone to take her unless she got, they got really lucky. So Izu here is adjacent to um, Shima. I don't know, it's just so, so unlikely that I should stop talking about it. Um, but also the temple, this, this event could come up, making it even more unlikely. Okay, so she got temples down. Palaces, she's in the lead. Uh, you know, so she's got to be asking herself, is Betty Crocker going to build a palace, really? Um, if he does, then she's going to have to split points. That basically just makes it so she loses a point. Um, is it worth spending the three three uh, war chests in order to ensure that point? I don't know. Um, this middle area, she's the only one who's built anything. She has a palace and a no theater. Um, if anyone builds a no theater, which I guess is Sunny in this middle chunk. Oh, I guess Junior's there too. Um, sorry, I didn't notice the ETH. Um, then that's no points for that. Uh, again, she's in the same situation with the palaces as she was down here. She has no temples up there, but neither does anyone else. So she could build a temple there. And if no one else builds a temple, that's two points. In the north, she uh, has a little bit of a presence in a cheese in this kind of olivey area that stretches. It's a very rangy um, province. Um, doesn't doesn't have any buildings at all. So she could build anything she wanted there and get a shot. So that's something for her to consider. Also to consider is that lack of money. Um, she's, she's sitting on six war chests. Um, you know, there's definitely four worth of expenditures before that, two of them building. Um, if she doesn't do any reinforcements, she can buy everything without having to worry about the war chests. Um, She'll probably she'll probably do that. She'll probably focus on building and put down some stuff on reinforcements just in case they come up. I don't think she's going to attack too much. Doesn't look like that's something she would probably want to do. She's not doing that great on rice. She's uh, second only to Destructo in neglecting her people's nutritional needs. You can see that over yonder. Uh, so rice is going to have to be important. So let's take a look at what her big rice one is. Looks like Mino is a big rice one. She has a she's in danger of losing Mino, but rice comes up early in the the turn. So I think she'll do that. Um, that takes care of rice there. She's going to want more money. So let's see where can she get more money. Setsu. Setsu is. Where is Setsu? Oh, Setsu is the one that she keeps taking money from. Um, she would probably lose Setsu if she taxed it again. So have to think about that. She's decided to go ahead and tax Setsu. If she does lose it, that's one less um, mouth to feed, so to speak. So that's going to work out for her. Um, she's going to build her palace in the Chizen. Um Let's see, what's she going? Where's she going to build her temple? Omi, she doesn't want to build it anywhere. Omi, where's Omi? Does she even have Omi? Oh, right, Omi, right there. Yeah, she'll put her her temple in Omi. That's not going to help her defensively. Um, and then her no theater, she doesn't really want to build one in the south. That would just deprive the, the Shogun. Hmm. I guess she's not going to build one of those. She's going to actually do some like military stuff. Let's see, Shima, she did, uh, well, she could, Shima, she might want to, she doesn't want to attack from Shima, so she'll do a reinforcement, a weak reinforcement in Shima, or a middle reinforcement. Issa, she would like to, hmm, oh, she does want to do an attack, I forgot. She's going to attack from Yo, and she's going to do attack B. 
so it's not to tip her hand too early. Hmm. And then Issa, Issa's, is Issa, sorry, I can't see all the names. Oh, there's Issa. Okay, Issa, she's in a pretty good spot there. She's got quite a lot in Issa. She will, now she's going to build a no theater just to be annoying to the Shogun there. And I think that means she's going to actually build up in Shima to the highest one. Since she's not going anywhere else, she doesn't really care too much about the bidding this time. So she'll use her zero there. And these ones here, these are all just, um, they're just blanks. So as you see everyone else, they have their backs. I, I put it face up just so you could see what Pinky chose. So now it's time to go through and resolve everything. All right, the bid just happened. Um, Sunny had the high bid with one war chest. Everyone else has been pretty um, frivolous with their money. So he had the money to spend. He decided he'd bid one, and he won out. He took the rice. Um, even though he has, he's tied with Betty Crocker for the most rice, he figures having an extra one uh, is definitely nice going into the winter. Um, he's somewhat of a conservative fellow. He likes to be protected and stored up. That's kind of what he's been going for. Um, let's see, who else? Oh, uh, this is a interesting little rule. Destructo, he put an actual province there. That's, that's counted as like half a bid in a way because you're giving away information. So that's above these blank ones. So he took, he didn't take the, the attack bonus. He took the reinforcement bonus. Um, then it was random. Uh, Betty Crocker got the next one. He took the defense bonus. Junior got the next one. He took the attack bonus. And then Pinky got what she wanted. She got the additional money. Forgot to draw the event. This one came up. That means that it's going to be the minus four to rice in the winter time. That's rough. And the um, temples are not protected. So that could that could make for some interesting situations. Uh, especially in Bichu, I'm thinking about. Um, so this little symbol here means if something with a, a palace is attacked, it gets an additional cube. Not quite as um, vibrant an event as the temple event. We just finished the rice seizures. Um, you can take a look at the track here. 11 is Sonny's, and I don't think that's unreasonable, actually. I think he is maybe not even going to have enough. I think there's going to be some starvation happening come the winter. Um, in other bleak news, there's still no taxation showing, and we, still, and we have these uh, big expenditures here. We could have some people going broke and having to forfeit actions. Which is worse, that or starvation? You be the judge. The theaters were just purchased. Uh, you can kind of take a look. And those of you who have memorized the board can see what's new. Um, for Pinky's sake, she her Mo Theater was built in Issa, but then Betty Crocker did build one in Tosa. I honestly did not remember he was doing that when she made that choice. Um, so he still outnumbers her in no theaters, despite her recent um, construction. Palace came up, palace building, so that's that's even more expenditures before the taxes. So one of these is going to, that's all the expenditures are, are coming before um, anyone's going to be able to tax the provinces. One of these is attack B and the other one is the treasure chest. Temples have been erected and as it relates to Pinky, uh, Sunny built in Kai and Pinky built in Omi. So they have canceled each other out. They're both going to pull a point in the winter off of that rather than two. This doesn't relate to Pinky, but since we've been talking about it uh, quite a lot, the situation right here with the Shogun's palace, um, it's Junior's turn to attack from Harima. I bet he's, uh, you know, he he could have he could have picked one of the provinces to attack around Bichu and actually been able to attack this turn. However, that's not the case. So he is going to attack from Harima though, and he is going to attack Hoki. Um, Mainly because this temple is here, and that's going to give him a, a victory point off of that if he's able to take it. Now, um, they're each going to get a bonus cube. We've had a lot of combats like that where the attacker and the defender each got a bonus cube. I'm going to put the camera down so I can pick things up, and then I'll let you watch me drop the cubes into the tower. So real quick before I pick these up, these were all left in the tower because they came out in some other combat where they weren't relevant. These are going to get placed back in. Since I've been talking about the rules in this session, I thought I would point that out. So I'm going to pick those up now. 
and as promised, I'm now going to let you watch me drop these into the tower. Here's all the cubes that are going in. And not surprisingly, Junior was finally able to take some meat off of the Shogun's bones. And he's now going to have four cubes in Hokie. And these are going to remain, and the next combat they're going to get thrown back in. Turns out that was the only attack A. People are really thinking about the winter this, this round and not necessarily wanting more provinces to have to worry about. Though they can get a movement out of attack A, um, they had other things to consider with their provinces. It's time to build castles and Pinky is unfortunately broke. Taxation isn't coming until the very end of the round. She has no money. She spent a lot of it on things that she did not necessarily want that much. Like just this kind of offhand, no theater there. Some reinforcements she wasn't too um, interested in in Shima. Now she can maybe use those uh, those cubes for good purpose, you know, going overseas there, or yeah, that's pr probably what she'd do with them. Um, but she wasn't able to build the big palace in a cheese in, which is worth three points, I think. Let, we'll see if anyone else built one. So we gotta go to Destructo next. Destructo's totally out of money, wasn't able to do all the reinforcements. Uh, Sunny Sagami, and he has enough for that. Sagami is right there, so that's not going to affect Pinky. Uh, did Betty Grocker build a palace? He did. Where did he build it? Kaga. Kaga is... Kaga, Kaga. Oh yeah, that's right up here. So that would have uh, that would have dropped her down to two points instead of three, because that's in the same region right there. That brings us to attack phase B, where... Um, Pinky is going to be attacking Aki from Yo here. Purely not a you know super strategic move, but she wants to smack Destructo around a little bit. Not hard to do. Destructo's still not doing too well. She's not gonna send all her forces at him. She's gonna send hmm, she's gonna send this many, I think. Leave four behind with her temple there against Destructo in Aki. There were four blue cubes in the tray, so that's going to make it... Those are all going back in. Uh, Destructo's had a lot of losses last turn, so there could be so, several blue cubes inside. Looks like a lot came out, but we'll let's see how this matches up. Ooh, looks like she just lost to Destructo. Interesting attack phase B. Destructo actually decided not to attack just because of rice. He didn't want another... He could have taken Echu pretty pretty easily here despite having lost a lot of cubes from the tower from the uh, recent assault by Pinky. He didn't attack. Um, he's going to be short on rice. Sunny's also going to be short on rice. He's going to attack Totomi, however. Um, it's just too ripe with these two... two... Um, buildings down there. Farmers are going to be on his side. He's not going to send everyone in. Um, wants to keep Midi against... Uh, I'm picking up cubes with my left hand. It's so difficult. Uh, oh jeez. Oh, can I do it? Oh, I can. Great job. Okay, here we go. And... Oh, looks like this. Are those purple? I can't even tell. No, those are red. They're just kind of in a shadow. Is this red? Yeah. Looks like it's it's a wash. So that's special uh, special situation when it's a tie like that. That means all of these things get wiped out. It's the only time that happens. So it's like the, the the gleeful peasants just destroy everything. Right, Pinky's taxing Setsu. It has two of these revolt markers here. You get one of those every time you demand rice or tax. So that means two farmers are going to go to war with Pinky over the poor way she's treating them. I'm going to have to put down the camera. And we'll see if she can hold the province from the ungrateful ones. Let's see. She lost that. She lost that. 
diminished, she holds it. Pinky has really been cruel to these people. Three revolt markers. It's a it Setsu gives quite a lot of money, and so she likes to abuse it. That's gonna do it for the autumn here. Who are the real winners and losers of this round? Well, I think Destructo's fallen further. He didn't didn't lose out as totally as he could have. I think Sunny is doing doing very well. Um, Junior and Betty Crocker kind of stayed stable. I think Pinky had somewhat of a disappointing turn. He, she um, wasn't able to gain as much ground in terms of structure building as she wanted, mainly because of how the cards came out and also because she got a little too liberal with her funds. Um, really though, we're going to have to wait till the winter, uh, which I think I'm going to do next video since I did a lot of rules explanation on top of this video. Um, we'll do the winter next video and that will tell us really how people did. Um, I could just do the scoring really quick but there's lots of revolts and things to come up. Um, forgot to put the cubes back in Owari. Oh something happened with that. Um, so Sonny, he had a revolt in Saruga here. He actually ended up with more cubes in Saruga than were there before I think. No farmers came out. Betty Crocker ended up with the farmer I think from that. and. Uh, eliminated it but lost a cube. So when the farmers come into play that can really um, it can re you can really transfer your your fate onto other people not on purpose really but the turn order is important there. I wonder if there's a lesson to be learned um, in uh, Pinky's slip this turn. Uh, did, did where would did she even slip? Uh, it's in my well earlier I said she did because she didn't um, get as many things as she was setting out to do. But she's still you know a fairly we wealthy player, and I I would be pretty surprised if she got eliminated from this game. Um, but at the same time, you know she was supposed to be this hot shot builder with all these palaces and everything and she doesn't have quite as many palaces as she wants to have. So I'll leave it to you to decide whether um, her choices are wise choices or whether um, whether they're maybe not as great. I wonder if she's happy. Well, she looks happy.